Hello and welcome to the John Ark Show. Today's episode is called How to Make Millions of Dollars Selling to the Unemployed. Recent events have changed the marketplace dramatically and created a vast new opportunity. The unemployed are now the largest new customer base and we're going to show you how you and your company can sell more effectively to them. Before we begin, I want you to subscribe, like, follow, and comment on the show, as well as encourage you to try a service called HollywoodIsCalling.com. Uh, it's a company that allows you to purchase live phone calls from real celebrities. Uh, you can purchase a call for $19.95, that's a 15 second call, or a 30 second call for $29.95. There are more than a hundred celebrities to choose from. Uh, so give it a try. It's called HollywoodIsCalling.com. Now let's get started. Because of what's happened recently, more than 30 million new Americans have filed for unemployment since March. That has effectively changed the marketplace in many ways. First, it means a collapse in the sale of big ticket items like homes, cars, vacations, furniture, expensive electronics, expensive smartphones. And that's because people are obviously hoarding their cash. They're afraid, they're concerned, they're paranoid, and they're more reluctant than ever to part with it during this challenging time. Psychologically, they just don't trust what's going on out there. And so this is making them not only reluctant, but afraid. Because of this, we believe that the sale of homes, cars, expensive electronics, and other big ticket items are going to be flat for a while. We also predict that the luxury and premium product market is going to be challenging for the, very, for the next 12 months. We believe that the biggest growth opportunity, both in terms of revenue and market share acquisition, is going to be derived from selling products and services in unique new ways to the unemployed. Now I'd like to discuss some new strategies in pricing. Uh, the largest opportunity for companies seeking to increase their revenue and market share uh, will be found by those companies willing to sell their products and services to the unemployed in unique ways that their competitors uh, haven't tried yet or they aren't willing to do. Uh, the first strategy is something called deferred payments. If you're hoping to sell a big ticket purchase like cars, electronics, jewelry, real estate, whatever the case may be, then you should seriously consider offering a deferred payment plan. Some car sellers are already offering vehicles for sale that you don't have to make a payment on for the first four months after purchase. Uh, we believe that these deferred payment plans uh, for cars will probably be extended to other big ticket items like electronics, home mortgages, and vacation packages as an, as an inducement to people who aren't sure if they want to start shopping again. Uh, we also believe that a lot of these plans will eventually be extended to six or nine months of no payments for a lot of products and services. You know, allowing people to avoid making their first payment uh, for six or nine months may be just what it takes to entice them into buying, you know, an expensive product or service uh, that they might not ordinarily purchase under a circumstance like this. Another strategy you should consider is deep discount pricing. We believe that offering deep discount pricing to the unemployed will be necessary for the foreseeable future. Uh, this will be even more important for the sale of products that are perishable or have a very limited shelf life. For products like that, you obviously have to sell them quickly and, uh, and make sure that you don't take a complete loss on them if things go bad or if the product expires. Next, there's the luxury market. We predict that the luxury and premium market will be dead for a while. Overpriced real estate, overpriced cars, clothes, jewelry, electronics, and smartphones, they're entering a new ice age of slow sales as people will be very reluctant to spend money on a premium item when they can buy an item almost as good for a fraction of the cost. Next, I think we're going to witness a growth in hedonistic sales. In the near term, I think we're going to see a tremendous explosion in the sale of alcohol, legal and illegal drugs, cigarettes, as well as junk food. Uh, the sale of these guilty pleasures will be one of the few things that people will be able to, uh, to turn to in order to bring uh, some guilty pleasure into their lives. And it's still affordable. Next, I think we're going to see a cable company apocalypse. 
uh, we predict that the number of people who cancel uh, their their overpriced cable bills uh, during this uh, period in time and switch over to streaming services, we predict that number is going to skyrocket. Any cable company that doesn't reduce their pricing structure is going to be facing long-term losses because of this. Uh, the next sector will be the sector involving free entertainment and services. A lot of services that are now free because they're advertised or subsidized will see an explosion in their growth or usage. I believe that one of the best ways to attract new customers or unemployed customers who will eventually get their jobs back uh, to, and, and, and to convince them to buy your products or services uh, will be to offer them for free for a limited time in order to win them over. Every time a customer tries to sell one of its products or to price it properly, they should be asking themselves one question and one question only. How can we get 30 million unemployed people to try our product now so that when they regain their, uh, their jobs, their loyalty will remain with us? The, the answer to that is to win their future loyalty by treating them extremely well uh, in their hour of need today. Win them over when they really need you. That's how they'll remain loyal to you in the future when they no longer need you. Another thing that companies should be considering are free warranties and other services. Offering free warranties, free extended warranties on your products for a limited time, especially to the unemployed, is a great inducement to get them to make a purchase. Some of the things that you can offer for free for a limited time are things like uh, additional discounts, um, uh, extended factory warranties, and uh, and other product specials that you know could be available to everybody or perhaps just to the unemployed. One thing you can consider is offering a new form of enhanced price matching during this challenging time. Currently, a lot of retailers will price match their products to their prices to the prices being offered on Amazon and Amazon only. What they should be doing is expanding the list of companies that they will price match to, uh, so that their customers will have more options and the retailers will experience more sales. Next, there is the, uh, the video dating sector. Uh, you know, because of uh, recent events, we believe that there's going to be a lot of virtual online dating going on um, for a while. We think a lot of people are going to choose to spend their first and second date online on Zoom or Skype, getting to know each other, before they waste time going out in public for an actual face-to-face -face meet and greet. The next option for attracting the unemployed is to consider uh, your product line and asking yourself, what can you, what, what's not selling and can I take those items which are not selling and I begin renting them online or in person in our physical stores. We recommend that companies in this position take a hard look at their products and try and determine which of them they can rent online or through, uh, or in person through their stores in a way that will perhaps be temporary, but still bring cash flow into the company. Now, the next option for appealing to the unemployed is called is something called micro-dosing your services. A lot of companies sell products that unemployed people uh, or others will not be willing to spend money on and not be willing to, to pay full price on at this time. These companies should consider microdosing the services they sell. Microdosing means taking a service that you normally offer for, for full price and taking one or two of that service's core features and functions and then offering those core features at a drastically reduced price. For example, instead of offering your usual full service lawn care service to your customers, you can offer a, per, a partial service. One thing you can do is to just offer them uh, a service which, which just mows the lawn now instead of also spreading fertilizer and, and weed killing services. Doing this will allow you to at least generate some cash flow. Even though it's reduced cash flow, it'll maintain the, the, the relationship you have with that customer and you'll still have some money coming in. Next are the uh, free subscription services. I think offering your currently paid for subscription services for free for a limited time to new subscribers will be a great way to grow your market share and win over new customers. 
this is a great way to build loyalty and it's a great way to uh, expand your customer base worldwide if you're if you're offering your service online another new option and this is fairly new but uh, you should give it some serious consideration is called the product buyback service where the company will give you a discount on a new purchase if you donate one of the old products they sold you years ago to someone who is unemployed and in need this will generate new sales and it will generate tremendous goodwill and publicity for your company so having said that i hope these these new options help you and i want to thank you for watching and uh, we'll talk to you soon